Have you ever started something and then somewhere along the line, you woke up one morning and boom, it's like something just hit you. You are no longer interested or excited that which you began. The enthusiasm is gone. The drive is no longer there. You don't feel like it anymore. If anything, you feel stressed, you feel depressed, you feel peaceless, and you just want to leave it. You don't want anything to do with it. Maybe you just woke up and it happened, or maybe it's because of a setback that happened as far as that which you began is concerned. Now, today I want to talk to you on three ways you can stay motivated even in the midst of such kind of scenarios. You know, when you, you don't feel like you want to do it, you don't want to continue with that relationship, you don't want to continue with that business, or even you don't want to continue with that ministry. I have pastors who have quit ministry because they woke up and they are no longer excited about it. They are no longer enthusiastic about it. There are people who have broken relationships. Marriages have died because people simply just lost it and they don't have any motivation in as far as uh, whatever it is that they're doing is concerned or whatever relationship they have is concerned. And I feel today there is nothing as good as telling you on three things that will keep you or help you to stay motivated. Now, number one is that you must build healthy habits in your life. Now, when you talk about habits, we're talking about things that you do on a routine basis. You know, we're talking about things that you do on a regular basis, hopefully and maybe on a daily basis. Things that actually support your goals, things that actually give you energy and give you strength in as far as your goals are concerned. You will be surprised some of those things are probably even not as big as you may think, but they have a lot to do with who you are as an individual. For example, every time you have issues that are stressing you down, things like routines of having exercise are very important. Regular exercise or healthy eating or sufficient sleep those are things sometimes people may tend to overlook but the truth of the matter is when they are not functioning well or when they are not there they have a tendency sometimes of wanting to kill the motivation that you have towards something did you know that how you fix your body or how you treat your body determines how you function in as far as that body is concerned now maybe you may look at me and may wonder why do i need to bring such kind of a topic i should be talking about big things maybe i should be telling you about other things maybe do this and do the other go to class manage this meet big people and all that and sometimes we have to go back to the basics to the very basics because some people have such poor health habits such poor ways of managing their bodies that they are literally struggling on a daily basis. They have problems in waking up. They have problems in doing things. They have no energy in as far as functioning is concerned. Why? Because they are not taking care of themselves. So the first thing is that you must develop a very healthy habit. Create routines that will support your goals. Ensure that your body is well in terms of doing continuous, regular exercises. Make sure you're sleeping enough sleep every night. Make sure you're eating healthy. Don't bombard yourself with some of the junk and some of the food that literally drains energy from you and causes you not to think with clarity or think properly and expect that your motivation will stay high. It will not stay high it will end up becoming a problem the second thing and this is so important for you to be able to stay motivated is that you must surround yourself with positivity ah, i don't know i like talking about that in my various videos if you've been following me you will know that most of the time i talk about being positive being positive and thinking positive talking positive and i base it also in scriptures because when you talk about faith faith has to do with that what you actually speak concerning yourself as a man thinketh in his heart so he is he so what am i saying you must surround yourself with positivity that means engage with supportive and like-minded people like you individuals who encourage you and who inspire you try to look for people who will bring energy 
to you that is helping you to go up. Avoid negative talkers as much as possible. Avoid influences that are negative that drain your motivation. You know, there are people who will show you how impossible it is. There are people who will show you how difficult it is. There are people literally who don't see good in anything. In fact, it is amazing. There are sometimes you may have a task and you know that to be able to achieve this task, you have to do this and this and this and this. And those people will look at the things that you are doing to be able to pro prepare to fulfill that particular task that is going to bring a lot of gain back to you. And instead of them seeing the gain, they see the costs of what you're doing and they use that cost to discourage you and to tell you you're going nowhere. Now, those are people you want to stay away from. Those are people you want to close your ears from because the more you listen to negative-minded people, the more you listen to people who are always bringing negative energy, they don't have anything positive to contribute in as far as your life is concerned. You realize that by itself becomes a motivational killer. So what am I basically saying is that you must engage with supportive and like-minded individuals, people who will encourage you and people who will inspire you. Surround yourself with this kind of people. These are people you want to be with on a daily basis. These are the people you want to find yourself chatting with on the phone. These are the people you want to find yourself always on the phone talking to. These are the people you want to find yourself having dinners and having lunches and having coffees with. These are the people you want to find yourself talking to every day. That is why it's also important at this juncture to understand that some people who mentor you matter a lot. They are mentors. If a mentor is not giving you the correct energy, you need to remove yourself from that mentor and look for the correct mentor. The third thing, and this is so important to be able to stay motivated, is that you must seek accountability. In other words, share your goals with a friend. Share your goal with a mentor, a coach, who can provide encouragement and hold you accountable. You know, being a community of people who hold each other accountable for particular things, they support each other, but yet they demand accountability from one another. You see, until you are able to report to somebody or until somebody else is holding you accountable for something that you're doing, many times you find your enthusiasm will die off because there's nobody who is asking you. There's nobody who is checking to see whether you're doing what you decided you're going to do. I have a few accountability partners here and there. There are people I deal with at particular levels for particular things. You know, it's not everybody who is everything. There are people who cannot handle some particular things, so you don't deal with them. You deal with whoever who can handle that. But it is important to have somebody, have a friend, have a mentor, have a coach, have a father in the, in the, in the Christian circles, we call them spiritual fathers. Have have somebody who can be able to talk to you and you can also be able to talk to concerning your goals, concerning your objectives, concerning your tasks, concerning where you are going because the more they inspire you, the more they encourage you, the more they hold your hands, that by itself keeps you motivated. There is nothing as motivating as when you have someone who is patting your back and telling you you are going the right way or someone who is telling you, no, 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 don't go that way. You need to change the course a little bit because if you go there, you're going to crash. You're going to have an issue here. You're going to have a problem here. They guide you. They lead you. Oh my goodness. There is nothing as beautiful as that. And I love when I have people like that. Personally, I have people that I'm mentoring right now. I have people that I encourage right now. I have people I talk to. But at the same time, I also have people who talk to me. I have people who are mentoring me in one way or the other. I have people that I'm listening to. Why is that so? Because when you have somebody who is on your side, when you have somebody that you can be able to account to or somebody whom you are, who becomes an accountability partner not to you. I tell you the truth. There is no reason why you're not going to make it. Don't do things alone. Don't do your things alone. Don't isolate yourself alone. Because the truth is many times when you do things in isolation, when you do things by yourself without having somebody else checking on you, most of the time you find the devil uses that to bash you and to hit you so hard. And I'm saying that intentionally because I know what it means when you're doing things by yourself and you're cornered alone and you have nobody to defend you or walk and fight with you. It is important for you to actually seek accountability from some other sources. You need to have somebody somewhere you can be able to talk to, who you can be able to share your things with, because when you keep on talking to them, mm, they become your biggest source of motivation. 
I hope as you're listening to me, this is becoming a motivation for you. It's helping you to realize, you know what? You can go far and you can do great and big things. I wish you well. And remember what I always tell you in these videos of mine, let's meet in the field of the millionaires. Is because I know as long as you're motivated, you and I can actually be able to get to that field. God bless you so much. Now, remember, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. And in the comment down below, let me know you have subscribed. Say something to me. If you can't say nothing, just say wow. Write it wow. And I'll appreciate it. There are some people who send me wow. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's fine. That's okay. That's good. Remember, every Monday to Friday in the same channel from 9 a.m. Central Standard Time here in America. I love you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.